Hey there, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to see the new features uh, that Salesforce introduced for Flows in their Winter 21 release. I just started reviewing the release notes and found that they have introduced, introduced so many things uh, in Flow. Uh, I guess it is worth making a one whole video for just go, go over the Flow features. Let's see what are those things. All right, I'm in Winter 21 Salesforce org. And if you need to sign up for a pre-release version of uh, Salesforce Winter 21, I'm going to add that uh, sign up link in my description. Please make use of it. And here I'm going to create a new flow. And nothing changes in this menu, uh, just uh, whatever available in summer 20, the same options are available here. But when you click next, you'll see this. Um, they have provided free form and auto layout form. So what is auto layout? If you select auto layout, and in, if you see here in the left side, you're not uh, seeing the options like what are the events, get records, or addition works? Nothing is there. So what they did is, so if you see here, if you click over this link, you can add elements right in the canvas builder. So uh, you need not to go to your left and uh, drag those elements and add it here, and directly add an element from here and you can go with your uh, downstream requirement. So I would say it's like a cool feature. Uh, maybe uh, it will save a little bit of our time dragging all those things. Uh, overall, it's a nice feature. Maybe I would say it will save a little bit of our time. And they have given this option if you don't want to use this auto layout then you can go uh, to the previous version like all the menus available on the left side you can just drag and drop so that uh, yeah you can if you want you can enable it and you can go to auto layout and add your elements just like this or else if you want to stick with your old approach then just turn off and go with your old approach Yep, that is one new thing. All right, the next thing I want to show you is uh, when you go here, you see uh, four options now. So previously we only had three, record is created, record is updated, and record is created or updated. Now they have added a uh, record is deleted. So uh, now you can go ahead and create a flow whenever uh, there is any record deletion happens. So uh, yeah, they have given some crafts here. Maybe you can read it and find any useful information. But the thing is you can um, create a trigger whenever the record is deleted. So this is one cool thing. The next new thing is, so Whenever you are in a flow and you want to debug, you can, or is that, yep, can click that and see if they have added a new option, run as, run flow as another user. So what it will give us, like whenever you want, you are creating a flow and you wanted to test as a uh, end user or with some other profiles or with a specific permission search user. Uh, you can use that as user and uh, you can see how the flow exactly behaves for that user. So, yep, that is one new thing they have introduced here. The next thing I noticed is so uh, whenever you are using get records or create records element, so now they have added this custom logic so previously we don't have this custom logic but now they have, they have added it so uh, we can add any any fields with the condition and we can customize the logic 
so that's one thing and the other thing i noticed is so whenever you're selecting any global variables or is there oh my god okay see uh, like i just chose a uh, deleted field and i'm gonna add this global constant as false so instead of showing this uh, like the value as global constant dot false they have just showing us false now so you like uh, previously it was like uh, they were showing the exact variable uh, like global constant variable but now you can just see uh, what is the exact value that going to store in that field rather than this weird variable sometimes it get confused so that is one new thing all right these are the features that i have noticed while reviewing uh, winter 21 release notes uh, maybe i would have missed something on the flow features please let me know in the comments so that i can update my knowledge as well and I'm planning to review all the general features of Winter 21 and planning to create a new video if I feel something worth sharing with you guys. And that is it. Let me know if uh, you have any questions. Until then, stay in home, stay healthy, and stay safe. Thank you all. Bye-bye.